What's going on, everybody? So I got my robe on. I'm feeling comfortable. I'm ready to relax. And I see this come across my table. And I said, man, I got to talk about it. The people have to know about it. Hopefully, most of you guys know about this you know, war with Ukraine and Russia that's going on. If you haven't heard about it, then you've been living under a rock, right? And so uh, America has given Ukraine, or they have proved, approved at least up to one hundred and thirteen billion in aid. Now, man, like that's a that's a big number, but we still got people living in poverty over here, and then we're bringing in all these people across the border. And every time I watch a video, I'm like, Yo, where's Where's the women and children? These are like all military age individuals crossing the border. Uh, they're filling up the police stations in Chicago. I see it in a lot of other states. I'm like, man, something is going on. The Bible talks about lawlessness. We see what's going on in California and these people just robbing, you know, and going in stores, taking stuff boldly. Like something is going on. And I believe like if we don't pay attention and you're not prepared, you're going to be in a, for a rude awakening. So this guy, Selinsky. First of all, you see the images here, right? Dancing in hills. I already when I first seen this guy, you know, in the the national spotlight started getting on this story. Even before I seen these pictures, I said something's something's not right with this guy. And I ain't I'm not really feeling him like that in the spirit. And then I saw these pictures and I'm saying, oh. And then I saw that, you know, the Democrats just love this, love this guy. And I'm like, okay, that's a big red flag for me. And now, to put the cherry on top. Right. And this is how I know you just got to trust what you feel in your spirit, because it's like, you know, you, you think, OK, maybe there's some bias there. Maybe I'm overthinking it. Nope. Zelensky asked Marina. Let me see. Make sure I said her name right. Abramovic. Is that how you say it? Let me see. Abramovic. Abramovic. All right. Anyways, I've talked about this uh, witch many times before. He has asked her to be the ambassador for Ukraine to build the schools and teach the children. Let's read this. Uh, Valdemir, is that how you say his name? Zelensky has asked Marina, the performance artist, to be an ambassador for Ukraine. Uh, she's a fierce critic of Vladimir Putin's illegal invasion, said the Ukrainian president, and has asked her for help in rebuilding the schools. The 76-year-old Serbian is holding her first solo exhibition in the UK and is the first female artist to have a major show in the main galleries of the Royal Academy of Arts in London. Visitors to the exhibition must squeeze between two nude models to enter the show. What is with, what is with these people and bringing these freaks around the... I, should, I probably shouldn't say that, right? People, people are going to get upset. But why is this the individual that you want to bring to help you build the schools? And help you with the children. I'm, I'm, I'm confused. Let me, let me. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't make sense. You guys remember these images of her and Jay Z and the soul cooking, and you know, Joe Biden had the war for the soul of the nation. And I try to tell you guys, and people just acting like you know, oh, it's it's not a big deal. You know, you know, blinded by their hate for Trump. This man is saying it's a war for the soul of the nation. He's got Lady Gaga, the witch. That these people are connected. It's 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 like. How can you not see what's going on? Like, this is sick. I'm scrolling through. I'm looking at some of these images right now. She's got something with some, some cross that she remade. It's crazy, guys. Listen, the Bible talks about there's going to be, you know, wars, nation versus nation and things like that. And I'll just say this. I'll keep this video real short, let you do the, you know, research for yourself. But. Anytime I see the people in the world that don't have the spirit of God moving in unity, saying, hey, we love this person, we hate this person, go this way, don't go this way. When I see the people of the world come together in unity, Hollywood, the demonic music industry, all these people are saying the same thing. I always ask myself, what spirit made them unite? They don't have the spirit of God. So what spirit are they uniting under? Because the Bible says the God of this world will blind them, right? And so... The Bible says the spirit of the Antichrist is already in the earth. And so when I see these guys unite, and I think that broad is the way that leads to destruction, narrow is the way that leads to eternal life, I tend to feel like I need to go in the opposite direction of how these guys are moving. So if they say that this guy in Ukraine, you know, is so great, 
that makes me feel like, hey, there's some kind of delusion. There's some kind of deception there. Just something to think about. I really believe that a lot of people are going to be deceived in the end times. And you're thinking it's just doctrine and theology. No, it's this kind of stuff that's going to bring the deception and this the kind of stuff that's going to bring the persecution. This is the kind of stuff that's going to make people bow down. You're going to see. These people are real life witches. Man, go to www.marcusrogersministries. I'm just, I'm just looking at the pictures still. I'm like, this is, this is bananas. How do people not see this? Because they don't want to see. The Bible says because they didn't love the truth of God, you know, let them be over to a strong delusion. Go to www.marcusrogersministries.org. You know that we have the grand opening this week, uh, October 1st. We're going to have three services starting on the 29th and the 30th at 6 o'clock. Show up. We're going to pray. We're going to worship. Have a quick service. Go home. And then Sunday it's going down. But if you feel led to partner with what we're doing in Chicago, you appreciate this ministry. Hey, just go partner with us. Sow something. Anything helps. I need all the help that I can get. I got a big vision. I got a big plan. And we're going to keep building in Jesus' name. Y'all be blessed and encouraged in Jesus' name. Have a wonderful evening.